Hope you're ready to Marie Kondo today. No amount of caffeine can change this. <laughs> Dang it. Where do we even begin? Oh my gosh, you guys. What a whirlwind. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to the vlog. I got home from Oceanside last night, or should I say this morning? I was supposed to get home a little bit after midnight and we had some delays and I got home to my apartment at 5 a.m. Was not asleep until a little bit after 5 a.m. So it is 2 p.m. right now. I slept till noon and then just kind of caught up on computer things and I'm just now finally getting ready for the day. So I'm like mostly here, but I'm glad today is a pretty, chill day. I mostly have to just catch up on filming a couple things outside of YouTube and hang out with y'all. And I'm, I'm really eager. I've been waiting to have a couple days free to go through and declutter. And I just have some things that are like high value that I think are beautiful, but I don't use enough to justify keeping pare down on some things and maybe even list some things to sell. So I'm excited to have at least somewhat of a decluttering vlog with you today. Getting life back together. I haven't unpacked. I don't know if you can see my suitcase way back there. Um, I haven't changed my sheets. These are actually from my dog sitter, but I just could not, I could not stand to change the sheets. I know, I know that's savage, but I'm not gonna lie to you right now. I slept in those sheets. So we're just gonna play catch up. I'm so happy you're here. Let's get life back together and let's declutter. How's that sound? First things first, I'm gonna go to the package room. Oh, actually, maybe I order groceries. Oh, uh, one step at a time. There's no need to rush. Hey guys, step one, I got packages and groceries. Although, I'm excited and nervous because it looks like a couple people might have sent me flowers after the engagement and I've been gone and I don't know how long they've been there and I hope they're still alive. Let's check. Okay, some still look alive. Oh, that's sweet. Okay, that makes me feel a little bit better. This is PR from RMS Beauty. Whew. Wow, a couple are still salvageable. Let me about this one. Oh, yay, these look fresh. Yay, 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 okay. Oh, it's the whole Magic Links team. A team of very sweet people I get to work with pretty often. Oh my gosh! I think I caught these just in time. Oh, so nice. I bet I can create a bouquet and salvage the couple that are still alive from this one. I got this one from the other bouquet. Um, a hydrangea. Oh my gosh, wait, it's already kind of perking back up. <gasps> Hydrangeas are crazy creatures. This, this guy was really droopy a minute ago, but he's happy to be in water. Maybe he'll just, you know? And something else really exciting just came in the mail and we're gonna go open it together. It's a good thing I desperately need to change my bedding right now because I just got new sheets from Cozy Earth. I have been eyeing this color for a while now and I'm getting to work with Cozy Earth on this video. So thank you to them for sponsoring. If you don't know, these aren't regular sheets. These are bamboo based sheets. And I don't know if you've experienced like the really high quality bamboo sheets before, but they are so like somewhere between a silky cotton kind of feel and just beyond luxe. And I've had them for a few years, like I said, and my original pair of sheets has held up so well. I thought that this like cool gray color would be so fun to throw into the mix. They start off really soft, almost more silky, but then they get even more just like buttery the longer you have them. Also bamboo, and this is 100% bamboo, is very temperature regulating. I am a sweaty sleeper. I sweat a lot in my sleep actually, and switching to these however many years ago made a noticeable difference for me. I have had a code with them for a while now, and it's probably one of the most generous codes out of any brand that I work with because it's 40% off your first order. It's CE hyphen Mikkel and sheets, nice sheets, nice bedding are a bit of an investment. So 40% off saves you a good amount of cash. And you know, the brand's nice when it comes in its own little bag like this. So I'll have my link down below if y'all want to shop, um, but let's put these on my bed and thank you to Cozy Earth for being my favorite for a long time. Uh, an OG around here. Ooh, 
Doesn't that look nice? I am running on fumes. My internal clock is just so out of whack, but I just wrapped up some work for the day, wrapping up my Friday. And tomorrow I'm meeting my friend, Jessie, who lives in California. She used to do all of my shoots for me. I'm meeting her to do a shoot. She's in town and she needed to book a couple shoots to justify flying out here to give Anna and Kaylee's each free maternity shoots. So I was like, you know what? I need new photos anyways. I'll be one of the people that book you. But she has to get some equipment from a spot here in Austin. So I'm gonna go and be her errand girl and run and pick that up for her. And I think tonight I'm mostly gonna clean the house, shower, self tan, reset, go to bed early. And tomorrow is gonna be like, let's declutter, let's do the shoot, let's go to dinner with Jesse, all the like big things because jet lag is wild. No amount of caffeine can change this. <laughs> sleep and I'm feeling a lot better still still a little jet lag because the time I woke up was 2 a.m. Hawaii time a little jet lagged but a lot better and today the plan is is I am meeting Jesse for that shoot probably around 5 p.m. we're gonna do like hopefully golden hour and then grab dinner so I have all day today to kind of get things in order and I think I mentioned this before but I have some things that are really nice that I just don't wear a lot maybe it didn't quite fit me or I've just had it for years um, and I would like to start selling some more things. One of my friends is looking for just like easy work. And so I told her, hey, if you wanna list and sell things, I'll split the profits with you 50-50. And then basically I am gonna be putting my half of the profits into wedding fund. Cause we've had some other big financial things pop up recently and I wanted to pay for my own wedding. And, um, yeah, this will help buy tacos. I am going to go through hopefully closet, shoes, things like that for things to sell. And I also kind of want to just go through other areas too and whatever is not essential, donate it. So hope you're ready to Marie Kondo today. Where do we even begin? I think the best plan of action is first to go through my closet and I pull all the things that I haven't tried on in quite a while. This is where all the hard work comes in. Then I try on, especially pants because I've just kept like rebuying new sizes over the last like year or two as my body has fluctuated. I think I need to just try everyone on, see which ones fit me right now and which ones I don't love or don't fit anymore and start with that. And then pull things too that I'm like just kind of, you know, not really wearing as much as they could be worn and someone else will wear them more. So step one, pull things from closet. Step two, try it all on. Gonna start with the pants because I think it's gonna take a while and play a quick game of keep versus sell. Starting with these. Actually, I'm gonna bring a mirror over here so I can see myself full length. Keep, but just barely. They're starting to get a little uncomfortably tight, but I'll keep for now. Ooh, kind of torn. These are a little loose, but so comfy. More comfy than the last ones, but less flattering. I might keep these in, in case I officially can't fit into those anymore. Keep. These are a sell, which is a bummer because they're goldie and I wore these almost every day about a year ago, but I struggled to even get them over my hips. Those are not gonna zip. Sell. So, I've had these for years. These are made well and um, they are starting to get pretty tight, just like the others, not as tight, but I think time to sell these as well. Okay, we've had a trend of not being able to zip. Sell. So, <laughs> cool. Good news. I got these a little more recently. These fit. Okay, keeping in mind the sizing that I'm trying on for if I order anything new, but I'm gonna keep these, which is nice because they're like a more like kind of light wash. Um, what do you call that? Like charcoal, I guess? Keep. Okay, these fit, but they're supposed to be wide leg, I think. And the fact that they hug my hips, they're reading a little more boot cut, which I don't love. So I'm a little torn on these because they, they do fit and they are comfy, but I think maybe sell. These have been my tried and true for a few years now, but this rip is starting to get rippier and these used to be a straight leg. They're now breathing more as a skinny jean, but I've loved them for a long time. So I'm gonna hold on to them just in case my weight fluctuates back the other way anytime soon. And I think they make my butt look great. So, 
Okay, the ones that were supposed to be wide leg but read as boot cut, I'm glad I put them in cell because these fit me a lot better. This material is a lot less rigid, which I think helps. I don't love, love, love the wash, but it's very, very comfortable and I have room to grow, which is nice. So I'm gonna keep these. I've just kept buying pants because none of them fit for very long, but um, glad to be getting rid of some. These are the ones that I got during Vlogmas from the junior section for like 15 bucks and they still fit pretty well. It, they're getting a little tight here and a little loose here. So they're not the most comfortable, but they fit for now. So I'm gonna keep them just in case. And I do love how high rise these are. They're super high waisted. The fit of these, I'm iffy on yet again, looking kind of boot cut, but this is a super stretchy material. So they're really, really comfortable. Maybe I should reassess the other charcoal color pants and see which one I would more likely wear and just keep one of them. So I'm gonna put these in navy for now. These were a struggle to get on, but now that they're on, they fit. But I do like the way that these read because they, they read a little more wide leg. They're starting to get a little cropped for me, but they could be really cute for like beachy vibes. Shoot, I got a lot in the navy section. These I couldn't even get on at all. So couldn't get them past here. Those were a sell. These are just starting to read a little like, a little too much for me, a little too tight. Both of these are Abercrombie, so they're like really nice and they were cute when they fit me correctly, but now they're just not, not for my home anymore. These Everland shorts could not get past my hips, so these were Free People jeans that I cut into shorts myself and they fit very comfortably around my waist, but I cut them too short. Dang it. I bought these from a really nice boutique on my solo trip to Portland, Maine, and they used to fit like kind of like a cute loose cargo style, but now these look like a freaking uniform. <laughs> so, so, a dark wash wide leg that fits. It's a little, a little loose in the waist, but at least it makes it comfortable to get on and I can either belt it or wear something longer in the back with it. This is great because everything else is feeling the exact same, either black pants or light wash. So excited to have a little variety that still fits. These are cute. Oh, I'm excited about these. Keep. These are from when I did that vintage sip and thrift and then I got things altered and these are so comfy and the concept's cute, but I'm a little torn because they kind of come back in. Like there's a lot of room here, which makes them comfortable, but I wish that they would just stay out or stay in, like kind of taper there a bit for me to like them, like that would be really cute. So I could either get them altered again or just sell them to someone with a different body type that it might just read a little bit better on. Oh, it's hard to know because I paid like $50 to get them altered. And my last pair of shorts from last summer are a sell. Wow, sell for sure, for sure. Hi, I'm gonna take a yogurt break. You're crooked, aren't you? Is that better? <laughs> I'm gonna take a yogurt break before moving on to shirts and dresses because that absolutely wiped me. <laughs> Cheers to being fed and nourished. What a lovely thing that is. Next, tops. I think, fully think I don't need to try on. I'm just gonna pull all the ones that I don't feel like I've been wearing enough to justify keeping and assess them a little bit more closely to be like, do I think I'd wear this in the future or do I think the time has passed? So let's go pull all the possible tops. Most of these are actually sell. I think it's finally time I get rid of this era of shirt. Like a lot of these are Everlane and I loved them, but I lived in them during like Pasadena married Mikel phase of life. And so I, I don't know why I keep holding on to them. They're still cute. Someone's gonna love them. This is just a little too tight on my boobs. More kind of button down, cute linen Everlane shirt, but just different phase of life, you know? Similar booby problem. <laughs> this 
was Pasadena married Mikkel too much. This was that thrifted shirt we recently got and I think I've decided it's just too boob for me. I have several long sleeve uh, linen-y shirts, so just paring down. I don't know, this one's really cute. And then I just have a lot of jackets, so paring down on some different jackets. This is a cute trench that I loved. This one is really cute. I just haven't found myself wearing that pattern a lot. And I have several of these like Lou lemon kind of almost waterproof ones. So I'm just gonna go down to one. Feeling really good about this. I'm gonna fold it all and put it into um, boxes for Davina to take and sell and see what else I have. Okay guys, here's everything all boxed up just from just the closet. I would like to do more of these around the house in future videos, but I'm wiped from this alone. Basically how I've organized it is everything in these bins, I think are sellable, like are good brands. I think people would actually, like it's worth the time to list them. And then things in the bags are more donatable to where they're like, you know, vintage or thrifted, or um, I have some like sweatshirts and stuff that I just don't think are as high of a retail price. So those are gonna be donated. And I'm excited because this is gonna give my friends some income and it's also gonna help with some of the wedding costs and it's also gonna free up space in my closet and I won't have to do the frustrating thing of trying on pants in the morning and being like, these don't fit either. Now I only have things that fit, which is a really good feeling. <sighs> now I have to figure out where to put all these until she could pick them up. <laughs> It's a couple hours later. I'm so excited because I just shot and edited two different campaigns that I did not think I'd get to today and was gonna do it tomorrow on Sunday. But now I get to respect my Sabbath because Jesse pushed the shoot back a little. So I have a little extra time right now. And I also am getting kind of hungry. Kind of thought about doing avocado toast, but I didn't want to like put in that much effort. And I don't quite have the ingredients for guac. So I just made kind of a deconstructed guac. We're gonna try it together. It's just diced avocado, ton of cilantro, salt, olive oil, and a little bit of lemon juice. I wish I had lime, but let's see how this tastes, if it's a good cheat. I have been really craving cilantro lately. Mmm, these are stale. But oh well. It's funny because I just took Max on a walk and got packages, more packages. We're gonna unbox some of them. So we're officially in the countdown for Anna shower. I know we just hosted Kaylee's, but we're a few weeks away from Anna shower. And so I started ordering all the things and I'm so excited because the mood boards that she sent us, I was like, all the things I order for your shower, I literally will just get to keep as home decor because the vibes are immaculate. So look at this huge, these are all from Amazon. The other bowl that I can't find that says delivered is this exact same wood and looks like this. And I think we're just going to put like very neutral colored fruits and such in them. So we have a couple of these different like wood bowls. This wood is called uh, Paolo... Paolonia? <laughs> Paolonia. These are just bamboo leaf plates. We're doing a grazing table and a dessert table. So a few packs of these I hope should be enough. We're doing a lot of different like taper candles. So I've got a few different candle holders all in different travertine sizes. Can you believe these are from Amazon? Like won't that be so pretty with taper candles coming out? So this box has this size. I think this box has another shape. More travertine taper candle holders. Just kind of a neutral color napkin. These are supposed to feel like linen. Our invitations have poppies on them. So we're doing real flowers too, but I saw these faux poppy flowers. I mean, I guess pink's okay because it's for a baby girl, but I thought I got a cream colored, but po pop, po poppy, faux poppy flowers to arrange in different things. Can't wait to show you the other stuff that comes in because it's all just very, very cool. But I want to make sure this is the color I ordered. That's what I ordered. Doesn't that look way more pink? So Jesse's almost here for our pictures, but it just started raining outside. It's like sunny and raining at the same time. So I guess we're doing most of our pictures inside because it's only like an hour till sunset anyways. But the good news about that is I can wear sleeves. So she just helped me pick out outfit options over text. And I'm wearing this really fun sweater because look at the back. Isn't that so fun? So um, this is the first outfit. 
all white polka dot open back. And then we're gonna switch into something a little more practical for another look. And then we might put on like a big dress and take pictures in the rain. So we'll see how all of that goes. But if anybody can pull off great pictures with modified circumstances, it's her. So I'm really excited about that. Actually, it'd be fun to kind of use these as a prop because it's the same style, same shade of blue somehow. Throw that idea out to her, see what she does with it. What a day. We ended up getting some pictures outside without the rain, which was great. And we walked to dinner and they had a whole Barbie menu. So I literally got pink enchiladas. Isn't that fun? And also a child's been here. <laughs> Look at the way these strawberries were eaten. <laughs> Thank you all for helping me organize and clean things out today. Um, I'm ready to tackle some more areas. Clothes are a big one. Clothes are a big one. And we did it in one day, which feels really nice. I'm also so glad I got so much done today and can enjoy a Sabbath tomorrow, just like hanging out. Be really nice as well. Um, and I wanted to say also, thank you again to Cozy Earth for partnering with me on this video. I'll have my link down below and my code, which is ce Mikel to save 40% off your first order. And thanks for spending a weekend with me. I love you. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I'll see you in a video very soon. So let's take all night, all night, all night, all night, all night.